Oh my gosh, Manny Machado. This is going to be a tough play. Machado, one of the best at making them. Machado to deep left. And deep and far into the San Diego night. And look at Padres win it in spectacular fashion. All right, Manny. You know, you had the chance to go elsewhere. You had the chance to, to test free agency. Given this market, given where everything's at right now, it, it felt like anybody would have said, well, yeah, he's, he's planning to opt out, but, but why? why? Why didn't you not? You know, obviously, we had a decision to make as, as, as a family, as a player, where it was like, hey, do you want to elect going into free agency or do you want to stay in this organization? And, you know, to me, we always wanted to stay here. We always wanted to be a part of this. I know we have a very great team. Um, you know, they constructed a team that's going to be able to win for, for multiple years. And it was a decision that was tough, but I think at the, at the end of the day, in our minds, uh, you know, we were only seeing one one color and one jersey only, and it was San Diego Padres. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you about the relationship. You know, obviously, Ron Fowler, AJ, those guys took a chance on you. What, what do you say to that in that relationship? They obviously took a chance on me when when, when giving me that, that, that first contract and, uh, you know, coming to an organization where, where they were kind of building and trying to get somewhere, you know, and I kind of, sped that process up a little bit. Once I got here, I was like, hey, come on, like, there's a lot of good things that are here. Like, let's get Toddy up. Let's get these guys going. Like, let's, that. let's, like, we got something special here that we could, we could start going and, and, and start that, start that engine up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out for the first time in 14 years. The San Diego Padres have clinched their spot in the postseason. One of my proudest moments was seeing you get to the postseason. Uh, in 2020 with San Diego for the first time and just seeing that smile but seeing the people around that 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 town what do they mean to you they mean the world I mean they when we got here they they opened up the arms and it's one of the best cities in the world you know the organization's been feeding for winning baseball and we're going to be fighting for a chance to 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 get to the World Series and win a championship and bring a championship to the city and you know we're on our way there for the first time in 24 years the San Diego Let's talk about your teammates. I know you've had some great teammates throughout your career, but but elaborate on 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 this this part of your journey and and the leadership role you've taken in San Diego. Yeah, definitely. I I've, I mean I've had I've had some really good teammates. I've had some really good guys that when when I came up with JJ and Jones and Marcakis and Nelly when I when he was earlier, even Jim Tomey at the time. I had some guys who gave me very good advice and uh, you know led a team in the right direction where I kind of learned a lot from. And you know my teammates now. I mean I don't, I don't think I've ever been a part of a team where. We're so, where the camaraderie is so tight, you know, we get along with each other. We're, we're, I mean, we're basically brothers in there and we fight with each other. We, we go back and forth with each other. We argue, we do whatever it is that, that, that brothers do. Like, you know, me and you, you know, we, we, we go above and beyond for each other. And that's the same thing we have in there with the group. And I've never been a part of something that's so special like that. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to leave. I wanted to be a part of this and a part of this journey and um, something that, you know, not just myself, but this organization has built. Let's talk baseball, third base, and, and the future, right, for you. Manny Machado has one of the all-time cannons. Wow. We always talk about Adrian Beltre. That's like our guy that we always go to. And Adrian, you know, he finished his career not as a DH, not as a first baseman, but yet as a defender, still making those diving plays. Is that something that you, you kind of strive your motto on? Oh, 100%. I mean, who we talk about it all the time is watching him play at, at, at the age he was going. He, was, he could have still played a couple more years, you know, how he, how he finished off. And, um, you know, I think if, if you work and you continue to work every single day, I think, uh, you know, anything is possible. Seeing Beltre do it at that age, I think we're going to be doing it for a long time as long as I continue to work hard. And, you know, it's my duty to go out there and, and there's a lot of expectations that come with this. And there's nothing better than exceeding all those expectations and continue to work and continue to grow as a player. And having the group that I have by my side every single day and, and the group that we have in here in this clubhouse, I think, uh, you know, they're going to push me every single day to be the best person I can possibly be. And I got to live up to that. All right, my brother, I saved you the best one for last. And uh, I don't want to get emotional here, but what would you tell your 12-year-old self? Oh, man. Wow. Damn. Wow. Uh, probably tell my 12-year-old self, uh, keep living that dream. I think if you put your heart and soul into anything, I think anything is possible in this world as long as you work for it. At the end of the day, you live that dream that, that, that you were living at 10 years old, at 12 years old, or even 15 years old. But it came with uh, you know, all that sacrifice and hard work.